Paddy, what is this? It's a list of names. Well, yeah, I'll work that out. It's an idea I had when you were in Scotland. It was still pretty quiet, so I thought you could ring around some of the older clients and let them know we're still here. Well, I'm so glad I'm back. That's the spirit. Paddy. Well, this place hasn't changed much. Talk about old clients. Hi, Kim. You are right. I'll cut to the chase. I'm going to be setting up a high-end equestrian centre, and I need people I can rely on. OK. In other words, I'd like to offer you the contract to look after the horses. I presume that's something you can still offer. Well, that very much depends on who the client is. <laughs> I think what Vanessa's trying to say is that we need to see if we can fit it in with our other commitments. Well, think about it and let me know. Absolutely. <clears throat> you can't be serious. The woman's a menace. That's as may be, but business is business. And lunchtime's lunchtime. Wow, I should have written that down. Hi, is that uh, Mrs Hardcastle? Yeah, this is Belle calling from Emmerdale Veterinary Centre and I was just wondering if... She hung up straight away. Well, there's still plenty of names on the list, right, Paddy? We don't need Kim Tate's business. Where's Kate? He'll be here. Right, has something happened? You mean apart from my little run-in with Kim? Oh, I wish I'd been there to see that. Right, uh, did uh, Vanessa and Charity not say anything when you left the pub? Uh, no, because we left before them. OK, everyone might as well eat. Don't worry, love. I think we've all guessed what this is about. Hey, finally! Where's Charity? Oh, she's not feeling too well. Typical. So what's this all about? Oh, we think we know, don't we? Well, yeah, it is pretty obvious, Charles. Oh, right, I can't wait any longer. Good. Go on, then. Name the date. We'll all be there with bells on. Mm, I'm kind of not sure about that. We were hoping it'd probably just be the two of us. But don't be so soft. Look, you're not a couple of starry-eyed kids eloping into the night. Sorry? You're getting wed. We all know it. So just name the date. Get on with it. Oh, OK, then. Uh, about six months from now. <laughs> six months? Why so long? Well, that's how long I've got left to go. What do you mean? Well, what? I'm pregnant! <laughs> We're having another baby! <laughs> yes, <laughs> Oh, get off me. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh, OK, Dad. Yeah, it is amazing news, isn't it? Right, talk to you later. Bye. That was right. It is amazing. It's the best news ever. Well, it wasn't planned. It was just meant to be. We made up for you both. Yeah, we are. Thank you. Don't you worry. We're all going to look after you, aren't we? Of course we are. Can't believe I'm going to be a big brother again. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you speak to Kim Tate? Yeah. yeah. And? And nothing. Talk's all she's got. <laughs> Not the best day away from her, yeah. Hey, change your mind. Big family knees up. Try keeping me away. OK. Hey, you just met Mum and Dad on the phone. They're asking if you were here. Oh, were they? Mm. We told them you were a no-show. But come on, then, what's with all the smiling faces? Anyone drunk yet? Oh. Hey, they're having a baby. <laughs> we wanted to tell everyone to get there, but... Oh, Jess. You OK? Yeah. It's brilliant news. Start, you'll get me going. It was bad enough having Lisa on the phone in floods. Hey, the happy tears. It's a happy day. <laughs> yeah, cheers, everyone. Cheers. cheers. cheers.